What is the mirror glitch and can it be beaten? Hey, what's up guys? Irish Turtle here and in today's video I want to talk to you guys um, about the mirror glitch that is currently plaguing the entire Siege community at the minute. Uh, loads of people have been complaining about this, having a little bit of a rage, saying, you know, oh, we don't like this and it's broken. And um, basically, I thought I'd address it in today's video and actually show you guys uh, a quick workaround for stopping the glitch from occurring. So first of all, what is the glitch? I can hear a few of you asking. Well, quite simply, there is a method to take off one of Mirror's char uh, window mirror devices uh, with being on the other side of the window. So obviously, as you know how the window works, it's placed here, there's a canister just here. If I hit that or shoot it, this window will pop off. But there is a way to do it from the outside. Now, basically, the trick involves a little bit of like know-how on this. As you can see here, there is this white line of where the glass is on the actual window. Now, if you aim for this slightly raised bump just here, you can literally one-hit it and take the window off from the outside. Now, obviously, that's a huge glitch. Being able to take it out from the opposite side is just massively overpowered. It doesn't balance very well, and you've got a lot of issues with that. But there is actually a way to deal with this that a lot of players aren't aware of. And you can stop players from being able to do this trick. So first of all, what you have to do is when you're placing it, you have to realise that you can actually choose where you place it on a wall. I could place it crouched down, stood up, you know, lying down in theory. I could probably place it for like something down there. Oh, maybe not. Okay, well, there you go. But you can do it crouching and stood up. But the point is you can choose where on the wall you do it. So, when it comes to it, as long as you aim to the highest possible point that you can place the charge on a window, just there, it's not even that much higher, as long as you've done that, you then stop the glitch. That's literally all it takes. As you can see here, the difference between these two windows' heights isn't a lot, and I can imagine a lot of you guys are saying, that's going to make absolutely zero difference. However, I am here to tell you no. It makes a hell of a lot of difference. As you can see here, when I look at this window, I can actually look down and see where the banister, uh, where the canister is and when you hit it if you remember where that white line is you're actually hitting directly down onto it and you could have just seen the top of it and when i come to this window again you've got this same white line it's still there but no matter how much i hit that white line i can't get it and the reason for that is that the reinforced wall underneath if i clear this off is covering the charge you have to think that uh, device is probably just about here Maybe just a bit lower and I can't get the angle down on it to hit it off. I can't open that from here. If I go back to this one and look at it again, you can see where I would have hit it. It would just be on the canister. I have that downwards angle to hit it. Whereas again here, no downwards angle. I can't hit it. So literally that literal inch of difference is all it takes to stop somebody abusing this glitch and being able to get you. Um, another bonus with this is if you're placing it higher, you've got more cover from the enemy team. You know, here you've got like your full head and chest, whereas here it's just your head for them to shoot, so it's a much smaller target. So not only does this benefit you with stopping the glitch, but it also gives you a bit more cover. And there are some other bonuses here and there as well. Um, another cool thing I've noticed is doing this on online is if you place it a little bit higher and somebody knows about the glitch because it's so public, they'll actually run up to this window and they'll start trying to knock it off. They'll go, oh, oh, I can get this, I can do this. And instead, the issue is, is that you're there looking at them going, well, they can't do it. And obviously, if you've got an unreinforced wall next to it, you can shoot across at them. If they're there, you can just knock it off and then spray them down and they wouldn't realize that it's you causing that. Um, so the bonus is massive if you realize you can stop the glitch. Um, and now you can see now with the window off, here you can see the canister. I can't see the canister here. That's the reason I can't hit it is because the hit model isn't high enough. It, it Basically, it's a workaround for that. So if you've been struggling with this glitch and you wanted a way to beat it, this is just a quick fix uh, until Ubisoft patch out the actual main issue. But for now, this is a, a tried and true method. It works. It stops the glitch happening. And if you're complaining about it a lot, that's literally all you have to do. It takes literally nothing in the way of like changing anything other than just aiming slightly higher. It's still you can still place your like device, you can still use it. Basically, it's the best workaround for this. And at the end of the day, that's all you really need. You just need a quick workaround until it's officially patched. This operator is still perfectly usable. She's still really feasible as long as you're doing this. Yes, you get a little bit less cover to the floor, but at the end of the day. If I can still use her gadget, I'm still effective. 
But um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick little video on the mirror glitch and how to stop it. If you did, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe for more Rainbow Six Siege content. Don't forget to share this with your friends so they can stop the glitch occurring as well. And I'll see you in the next one.